Y'all might want to wait till it actually starts. Oh, how do we know when it starts? Yeah, it's starting hey. now. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Happy, Happy anniversary. anniversary. We love you. We love the church. We're glad to be part of the church family. And I think it was 1971, the church, uh, Janice Feltners and I think the Pettis got together wanting to get a church closer to the house that there was nothing close by. So they started meeting in the living rooms. Later on down the line, they met Jerry and got him as the pastor. I don't know exactly how long it was, so that's why I'm saying later on. And the old lunch room was the main church at the time when we finally got the property. Then the building next door to it was next. Sherry, my daughter, got married there. Kevin was buried, uh, funeral was there. And then this, they, they uh, started school. They got Jerry got to, Janice to get off the school bus. She was driving the school bus and coming to help him get started with the school. And she was a school administrator for a long time. Then she taught third grade. And then she ended up in the office. She stayed there most of the time before she passed away. And 2004, Hurricane Charlie went through on the new auditorium, and but it didn't damage it. They were, and half the roof wasn't there yet, but it was saved by the good Lord. And then I, Janice asked me what, what I didn't get involved in some of the side stuff which I was already doing. Every time he asked me to do something, I did it. But uh, I started doing the sound overhead and stuff that I got where I just couldn't see it and, and my air wouldn't let me do it. So I had to quit. Now I'm glad that y'all got, got it on the computer to where at least I can watch it at home. And uh, I guess the rest of it is history. She, she spent most of her time there till, till she passed on. She, and Sherry, I think the, back in when she first started, she had three kids. One of them was a baby, which was Kevin. Not about Kevin, but Barry. And a couple of Peggy and a couple, a couple others had to grab them by the ears because they kept wanting to go under the pews. And it's, they helped her, Janice, take care of them to, so she could get there and work. That's all I can really, really remember is to say about it. Said, happy anniversary to the church. When Charles was helping to find a, a church, I let him go around and see the different churches and he'd come back and report on them. This was the church that the pastor used the Bible, the people were encouraged to bring the Bible, and we also liked the fact that they used the, a lot of the old hymns. Once I came here, I was impressed by not only how friendly Pastor and Peggy were, but the whole church, and it's been that way all along. There are not cliques. You are always welcomed by any group that would form. And uh, I want to give you my blessings on your anniversary. And thank you again for being so faithful. And what we've enjoyed about this church so much is its sincere uh, testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ and the missions they support. It, uh, it's a rewarding experience since we've been here. And we thank the Lord for you and what you've done. Thank you for letting the Lord use you and the staff here. We just wish you the happiest anniversary. And uh, you have our blessing for everything that you're doing here. We appreciate you very much. Happy anniversary, Brush Arbor. Um, it's definitely being a blessing to come to Brush Arbor. Um, we have learned about Brush Arbor because we live in the community and about a year ago I decided to inquire pre-K for Liam and I was able to learn more about the different programs for the kids and I got interested because I knew that my children needed to hear more structured class based on their age. For a while I have been praying to be able to find a good doctrine for my children to learn and grow in the church and the Lord has answered my prayers. Thank you so much. Lord has answered my prayers. Um, definitely has been an impact to my family as my son Leonardo has made an important decision in his beginning life of accepting Jesus this um, past year, uh, last year. And um, 
my husband that you haven't met um, prayers that he will come together one day with us um, has also heard some positive things has heard positive things and um, also talks about um, how it has been a positive um, for the kids as well um, which he has even said that he likes for us to go there brush our so because um, he knows he it is a good church and um, please keep us in our pray in your prayers um, so one day we can come together to the church and you can meet him I really admire everyone who works so hard to teach in the children's ministry and Awanas. Um, it's been an inspiration how I see teachers um, that are in school all day and then they come uh, to get Awanas together on Wednesdays and also on Sundays. It is a lot of work and um, definitely I recognize that. I talk to my kids about that, how difficult it must be at the same time and tiring where um, teachers are there teaching all day and then, you know, they come back and they have families and they come back and then they're part of the Awanas and getting a, getting a whole um, curriculum together. and. And you know that's a blessing I have seen that and um, that has been an inspiration for me um, just because it's I see that um, Brush Arbor has a lot of working um, people and they do it because they love Jesus they love um, you know to they they love to um, um, they, they love to pass on the word to um, to the others and um, this is how you um, serve God and um, this has um, been a blessing um, not only for us but also for everybody out there and we really appreciate that it's been a wonderful experience and a lesson for us for me as well thank you and God bless you for everything that you do Hey, Brush Arbors, the Pierces. Happy anniversary, Mr. and Mrs. Creo from quarantine at the Pierce house. Love you, Mom and Dad. Have a good time, guys. God bless. Many more. Happy, Happy anniversary, Brush Arbor Baptist, Baptist Church. We love you. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Who would have thought 30 years ago when we came looking for a school for the girls that we'd be here today wishing you a happy 49th anniversary? Don't worry about dinner on the ground for anniversary Sunday, Pastor. When all this COVID's over, we'll have us a dinner on the ground. We love you, and we thank, thank, thank you for being there for us and for everybody. And you've been there 49, maybe you'll be there 49 more years. We love you all. Happy anniversary. Yep. Thanks for the memories. Happy anniversary from the Claytons. Just want to say happy anniversary to Brush Arbor uh, for the many, many years they've been here and for the same pastor in the same building and even myself, I have July will be 20 years. Time goes by fast and you have fun, so keep serving the Lord. God bless you. Happy anniversary, Brush Arbor. Good morning and happy 49th anniversary to Brush Arbor Baptist Church. Pastor Jerry Krill and his wife Peggy and the many others who have contributed to the work God has been doing there over these past many years and continues to do. It's been 32 years since I first started attending the church after enrolling my daughter into the preschool. I cannot begin to thank the numerous people who have contributed to her educational experience for the years. It still amazes me that two of her first teachers are still there, Mrs. Brown and Mrs. Maddox. And going strong, I would be retired if I was them. Um, more importantly than the schooling, though, is the strong biblical foundation um, we developed there in studying the Word of God. I am so thankful for the many years of preaching, teaching, youth conferences, the one activities, fellowships, and the many mission trips that I have um, been privileged to attend over these many years. The Bible-based instructions, God's principles and standards have been the anchor that has been molded me into the person I have become as I seek to follow God's leading in my life. 
I cannot imagine where my life would have taken me if it had not been for his leading in my life. Some of my favorite memories have been working with the youth and getting to serve in other countries, which was a very humbling experience, experience as you realize how blessed we are in America and how much we take for granted. I have met many people over the years that have been my friends, my mentors, and I'm thankful that many of them are still in my life, either through telephone or uh, getting to visit occasionally or Facebook or whatever. But it's just great to be able to still talk to people even though they've moved away and um, God has led them in different directions. My favorite memory, um, though, I think of all the times besides some of the youth attack activities and stuff was my um, trip to Guatemala and um, it wasn't my first missionary trip but um, it was um, my most fun uh, besides the hard work of course we did when we were there but um, just getting to see the country the poverty that people live in their spirits um, was an inspiration to me that how much I take for granted uh, but the, my favorite part of that Guatemala trip was a trip up to the volcano, riding a little donkey and getting to see the lava flowing and stuff. It was just miraculous of seeing God's creation and stuff. Unfortunately, I got to miss out on one of the most important trips I wanted to go on, on which was a trip to Israel. But it was for a good reason. Uh, and I'm thankful that today, the day I'm doing this is... Well, really, tomorrow, I guess, is my da- my granddaughter's third birthday. Unbelievable. I do still hope to have the opportunity to go and visit Israel someday. I hope everyone has a blessed anniversary Sunday, as um, we usually have dinner on the grounds. But won't happen this year. But God willing, and he tarries, uh, 50th anniversary is next year, and we'll definitely have to make up for it. Thank you once again to Peggy Pastor, the Maddoxes, so many that I can't even name, but those are the names that, when I think of Brush Harbor, pop into my head the most. Anyway, God bless and have a um, great day. Thank you again. Happy 49th, Pastor. Happy 49th anniversary. Say happy 49th. Happy 49th. Samson can't say it, but he, he wishes the same thing to you, Pastor, and we're so glad you are a pastor. And uh, you've done such a great job uh, since we've been there. You, uh, your warmth and your... Um, just your uh, your messages, and just your faithfulness has has, has really Agreed. encouraged us. And we Agreed. thank you. Thank you, Pastor. Happy 49th. Hello, Pastor Creel and Mrs. Creel. Um, I just want to say how much I love you, and I'm just thankful for you guys. I'm just thankful that when I was four years old, my dad realized that he was in need of a savior, and he went to Brush Arbor and he got saved. And he started bringing his family. And even though we didn't stay in church, or he didn't stay in church, we stayed in church. And you guys and the different ministries and people of the church were always there for us. And I'm so thankful for that. And I'm thankful that the Lord brought me back to Brush Arbor. And I'm just so thankful for your love and compassion for others. I hope you have a beautiful anniversary Sunday as we celebrate this year. I love you guys so much. Congratulations to Pastor Jerry and Peggy on 49 years with Rush Arbor Baptist Church. I've been a member for eight years and I have had many blessings there and I hope we can celebrate many more years together. Good morning, Pastor. Happy Anniversary Sunday. It's been a very unusual year this year um, with the great toilet paper panic of 2020 but I just want to thank you for your service to the church, to God, and for the grace in which you have handled the difficulties of dealing with social distancing and all that comes with that. I just trust that God will bless you with another great year and that next year for the 50th anniversary that we will all be able to come together at the appointed time and celebrate uh, 50 wonderful years at Brush Harper Baptist Church. God bless you, Pastor. Surprise! Happy 49th anniversary. We just thank you for all that you do, Pastor and Peggy, for the church. And I'm sure we've only been here for a short amount of time, but we've 
benefited from your ministry and the blessings um, that the Lord has bestowed upon Brush Harbor. And we just thank you for allowing us to be a part of this church family and the ministry there at the church. And again, we just say happy anniversary. like to take this opportunity to say thank you to you and the church for your encouragement and support to myself and my family. You have made a difference in our lives. I wish you many more years of blessings in Jesus name. Happy anniversary! Thank you pastor. We greatly appreciate your faithfulness for you and your wife to the ministry there and all that you've done for the past 49 years. We wish you the best. Happy anniversary! We are so blessed to be a part of this church, and we can't wait to see what the Lord has in store for the years to come. Uh, Betty, uh, uh, she uh, wanted me to say something inspirational, and uh, well, I guess I do remember one time you inspired me, and uh, oh, uh, no, I uh, oh no, I meant uh, the uh, the twenty to fifteen years that we. Uh, were members of the church, uh, you you inspired us many, 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 multiple times. Uh, uh, I I get I, I just can't remember but one. So uh, we go. We, we need to wish you a, a very merry 49th anniversary. So happy 49th. Uh, you're supposed to say this with me. Oh. Uh, happy yeah. 49th church and anniversary. Anniversary. Happy anniversary, Brush Arbor. Happy 49th anniversary, Brush Arbor. And uh, we're glad we go there. We appreciate the uh, people. We appreciate the pastor. And we love to serve God at this church. Happy 49th anniversary. Happy anniversary to Pastor and Mrs. Creel and Brush Arbor Church from the Tanzini's. We love you and miss you. We wish you nothing but the best. Be safe through all this uh, terrible turmoil we're going through right now. But uh, bless you and uh, we, we love you deeply. And some of our funniest times and good times we had through the years, we have to tell you, is our many teenagers trips. We enjoyed them so much and a permanent fixed memory. Thank you so much for all the memories. Thank you, God bless you and we wish you all the best. Happy anniversary. Bye-bye. Hey, this is Tom. And Jean Womble. With Charlie, our granddaughter. Happy, Happy anniversary, anniversary, Rush Arbor. Hey, happy anniversary, Brush Arbor. I just wanted to give um, a testimony about what Brush Arbor has meant to me. And I think, um, Obviously, having grown up at Brush Arbor and being there probably as much as I have been in my own houses, I really um, was trying to think what is the most special place to me at Brush Arbor. And I remember when we built the new auditorium, they said they were going to put a really large vestibule in it so that people could just sit around and fellowship or talk. And because the vestibule in the old auditorium was incredibly small and people couldn't just stand in there. And I was at college when they said this. So I came back and I saw how big it was going to be. And I was like, OK, well, that's really big. But it really has been a place where it, it did what it was intended to do. People really do just stand around and talk, obviously not right now with the quarantine, but um, people really fellowship there. And there's been some great conversations that have happened in the vestibule and people that I've built relationships with just fellowshipping with them at church. And I think I really appreciate Brush Arbor too, because we can make um, generational relationships. Like not everyone's just only hanging out with their age group. But there's so many people in my life at Brush Arbor that are in different generations that I've learned so much from. And I think one of those is Brother Henderson. 
there'd be many times in my life that he has affected my life. Uh, as a little kid, he probably scared me a little bit. I didn't really understand him. Um, when we went to Peru, obviously that, that was a major turning point in all of our lives and our relationships with each other. But especially when David went to Afghanistan, because that's when I finally understood who Brother Henderson was and the army soldier that he was and the beast that he was and uh, how much he had done for our country. and. He would just stand in the vestibule handing out bulletins around that time when David was in Afghanistan and I would walk up to the door and he could just look at my face and know what kind of week David had in Afghanistan and what kind of week I was having. And he was just always there and he didn't have to say anything really. He just knew and he's just been a huge blessing. So I appreciate Brush Harbor for, for all the kinds of relationships that we can have in the way that we're just one big family. Happy 49th anniversary, anniversary Brush Harbor. Pastor, it's been an honor to call you my pastor for the past 29 years, and I pray that God will keep you the pastor for many more years to come and that he will continue to bless our church. Good morning. Hi, Pastor. Hi, Peg. Yep. It's been a long time. Uh, I thank God that you're here, and I thank God for the church. Lord, Pastor, we... Uh, enjoy your sermons we enjoy your uh, being our shepherd and uh, god bless you since 1973 or 70 something like that i've been with you since 1983 mj's been with you for, since 1997 so mm -hmm. we've uh, learned to love you and respect you as our pastor yeah, and I don't think you're going to be retiring anytime too soon. At least I hope not. Please don't do that. Anyway, we love you guys. Thank you for standing up for the truth when many churches don't. God bless, God you. bless you. And Godspeed. Bye, guys. Bye. See you Wednesday. This is John McDonald, Brother John. I am not doing a video because uh, I'm assuming that audio would be much better than my video. Um, I'm doing this off the cuff. I want to say happy anniversary to Pastor and Peggy. I want to tell you guys that uh, uh, Brush Harbor has uh, meant so much to me. Um, it has replaced my family in many ways. It's, uh, uh, it brought me to know the Lord as my Savior. It's taught me to grow up a fair amount, and uh, and it was instrumental in Raquel's upbringing as well, and I hope one day she returns to the things that she was taught. Uh, but I love the church. I uh, love uh, being up there. I love the people, and I love you guys. And um, I'm grateful for the work that's been done there and the example that you have set, and, um, and I strive to live up to it. And um, here's hoping for and praying for uh, several more years to come. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Hi, everybody. So this video is in celebration of 49 years of service for Brush Harbor to the community. And we just wanted to say how much we appreciate Brush Harbor and everything that they do. And we appreciate Pastor Creel and his wife um, for everything that they do for us and for the community. And in the times that we are right now, it's amazing to have a church and a family that sticks together and and supports each other and does exactly what the Bible tells them to do in spite of what the world tells them. And in Galatians 6, 2, it says, Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. And I can't imagine... Um, ever having a preacher or a leader of our church that could do such a such a job as Pastor Creel and his wife. And I just want to say happy anniversary from the Rayner family to Brush Arbor and the Creels. And I just hope that they're doing well. And I'm just glad that we are still a family in spite of what's going on. So happy anniversary and lots of love from the Rayner family. And are you ready, Jasmine? Jasmine? Ready, Daddy. Okay. 
Happy anniversary, Brush Harbor. We love you. Till next time, we love you and we'll see you later. I love, we love you so much and I will see you later. That was such a good job, Jasmine. Bye-bye, everybody.